Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. In this video, you are going to learn about fluid resistance and terminal velocity. Let's talk about fluid resistance first. As the name suggests, that is resistance means to resist, to stop something. And fluid is used for gases and liquids. So fluid resistance would refer to what? That is the opposing forces that try to stop any body moving through it or to resist the motion. So how would we define? We'll say fluid resistance refers to the opposing forces that a fluid exerts on a moving object in the opposite direction to the movement because fluid tries to resist the motion. So it exerts a force in the direction opposite to that of the movement. We also call them by the term drag. So drag is basically the same thing as we use for fluid resistance. And you'll find most of the times the questions that we try to solve, we say fluid resistance is ignorable. But there will be cases where you'll have to consider web. Let's take the case of a skydiver. So what happens when the skydiver jumps initially? He doesn't open the parachute immediately, right? So he jumps here and you, you can see in this figure that initially when he leaves the aircraft, you can see the main force that is acting has been shown as the weight of the person, the weight of the diver. Because initially his vertical speed was almost zero. So he just had a force due to gravity that is his weight so there was almost no air resistance in the beginning right so he moves down with an increasing velocity right but as his velocity increases the air resistance also increases so as he falls down due to the acceleration due to gravity he is falling with an increasing speed and with that increasing speed the air resistance also increases now that means as the diver goes faster and faster the resistance force that air resistance or fluid resistance becomes larger and larger so as you can see then the velocity would decrease a bit i won't say decrease a bit but like the increase slows down right so the acceleration reduces acceleration reduces so initially you had an acceleration of gravity right 10 but at this stage when the drag starts acting the acceleration downwards decreases and finally, what will happen, a stage will come when both the drag force upward and the weight downward, they become equal. At that stage, we would say the forces balance out. And when these forces balance out, the resultant force on the diver becomes zero. Now, when ever the resultant force is zero we have talked about this thing earlier in the topic of mechanics that acceleration will also reduce to zero that means the velocity of the skydiver becomes constant and we call this velocity as the terminal velocity or terminal speed now what happens the skydiver opens the parachute and the moment he opens the parachute Due to, you can see this large surface area, the air resistance, the air drag becomes very, very high. So that means the upward air resistance or the resistive force becomes much larger than it was before opening the parachute. And now, immediately when you open it, actually it is so much big that it is even greater than the weight. As a result, what will happen? The direction of the net force and the acceleration it immediately moves upwards because we know that net force is always in the direction of the greater force. And when the parachute opens, the upward air resistance is bigger. When the upward air resistance is bigger, that would say Fu upward is greater than the weight of the parachutist or the skydiver. At that point of time, the net force acts in the upward direction right therefore net force would act in the upward direction and immediately the acceleration also shifts upwards that means the velocity decreases immediately right now what happens it's not that the parachutist is going to fall, uh, go up so gradually that again has to balance so what happens 
you can see the length of the arrows become equal after some time. So we'll say eventually the upward drag of the air becomes equal to the weight acting downwards. So that means again the forces become balanced forces and now again the net force would be zero and the acceleration would be zero which means again the velocity of the skydiver becomes constant and this is also called the terminal velocity so terminal velocity basically refers to the constant velocity which is gained by any falling object when its downward force that is its weight becomes equal to the upward force which is air resistance so you will see how the force varies or how the vertical speed varies with time so this is a graph which is very very important this is a very important graph so you will see that vertical speed first increases because of the weight initially gradually that slows down and it becomes constant now at this stage when the parachute opens the there is a fall in the vertical speed immediately because we saw that that it was going upward in for a moment so then gradually that drag balances out and the weight and drag become equal so then at that point of time again the terminal speed is gained but that is much smaller and that is the purpose of the parachute to slow down the skydiver so that the moment he lands he should have a safe landing so the terminal speed is that constant speed gained which is very very low and then finally when the person lands it leads to a safe landing i hope the topic of uh, fluid resistance and terminal speed is clear in our next video session you are going to learn about work Thank you.